Hey YouTubers, here I am, I'm still heading down the trail, I haven't found the shumac yet, or the field, but I figured I'd just stop real quick and take a video of these mushrooms. My batteries are running low, so hopefully this doesn't cut out on me before I finish, but these right here are gem studded puffballs. and they are perfectly safe to eat but you do have to be careful because um, when the amanita mushroom which is fatal if eaten when it is very young it can resemble these mushrooms so it's always a good idea to when you're new to this to uh, first of all know what the toxic mushrooms are that can kill you uh, amanitas gallerinas inocibes um, there's there's quite a few that are uh, potentially deadly um, but you should learn those at least know how to identify them to the family uh, before you go gathering wild mushrooms for the table But these are pretty good of all the puffballs. These are my favorite Flavor wise, they're really small, but you can find these growing in patches like this. They can be out Like this right at the edge of a trail They can be somewhat out in the open or they can be right in the woods and they usually grow in big clusters like this sometimes you'll find a 10 20 foot area that's just covered with them and you can fill a bag up real quick but what I look for is uh, they call them a gem studded puffball because they have these little sandy particles on the tops and I guess those are what they consider the gems but they'll rub off on your hands see my hand hopefully you can see that it looks kind of sandy and uh, the way to ID them for the table after you've ID them as gem studded puffballs is you pick one up and you squeeze it if it's very hard then it's good for the table but if it's soft like this it's not going to be as good but it's still good for the table but if you break it in half and you see any yellow or green or any color inside other than white pure white it's no good it's already started to spore out so make sure first of all that it's not an amanita make sure that it is in fact a gem studded puffball then check them for firmness you want them to be as firm as possible and then cut them open and look inside and uh, if it's pure white inside it's good to go you have to cook them as with any mushroom you should always cook all mushrooms even store-bought mushrooms really but I know plenty of people that eat uh, the store-bought button mushrooms raw um, in salads and stuff but they say it's not good to do that because mushrooms are hard to digest and uh, some of the store-bought mushrooms according to some sources actually have carcinogens in them and unless you cook them those carcinogens stay active or whatever so it's good to do your research um, even on domestic foods you know you can get sick from eating domestic foods just as just as easily as you can from wild foods so you kind of have to pay attention and do your homework and, you know like I always say use multiple resources but if you do that you should be generally safe whenever I uh, 
find a mushroom and eventually decide to eat it I uh, I will always keep a few fresh ones in a paper bag in the refrigerator in case I do get sick I can always give those samples to the doctor and let him know what I ate and you know that way they can determine if it was in fact mushroom poisoning or if it was just food poisoning or something else entirely you know it, it'll make it a lot easier for them to treat you but the one thing you need to keep in mind with mushrooms and I sure don't want to scare you away from hunting mushrooms because there's a lot of good eating mushrooms out there and they're very nutritious uh, but you do need to do your homework and uh, you can't just go grabbing them up and eating them because you think they're what you want them to be you have to confirm 100 percent beyond any doubt that they are in fact what you intend to eat and what I will do if I finally decide to eat a mushroom for the first time I will uh, well what I do is I won't even eat a mushroom until I've ID'd I'd it 100 percent three or four different times uh, from different locations because that gives me the confidence that what I think I'm IDing 100% I actually am IDing 100% accurately and it's it's also a good idea to once you ID a mushroom 100% take it to somebody who has eaten that mushroom and ask them what they think it is and if if their idea matches up with yours then that's just one more plus in your favor. I got a. How's it going? Hi. A hiker coming by. He probably wonders what I'm doing talking to myself. Anyway, that's the gem studded puffball. And I'm gonna keep heading on down this trail to try and find the infamous staghorn shoemack. Talk to you later.